Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So today I'm going to talk about one very important thing, a very interesting chapter, which is what is the difference between HTML unit and HTML unit driver. So HTML unit is a GUI-less browser for Java programs for headless testing. It models HTML document and it provides number of APIs that allows you to invoke pages, fill out forms. You can click on the links just like you do it in your normal browser. It means whenever you want to quickly test your application in the headless mode, but without any specific browser, I'm not using any Chrome options or Firefox options in Selenium. If you want to use without any browser still in the headless mode, you can use HTML unit over here. So HTML unit is a separate project. It's nothing related to Selenium right now. It's totally different. It's having its own source code and the entire project is different you can do a lot of things you can use frames file upload file download ta uh, tables keyboard a lot of javascript functions you can use it window handling you can do it a lot of multiple things you can do it over here if you see the github page uh, or official documentation you can check it over here you can check it their official github page also here you can see that and they recently released one version that is version 2.51.0 they recently released and uh, you can see that HTML unit is a GUI less browser supporting JavaScript to run against web pages. So it's a headless mode, right? So what exactly Selenium guys they have done? Selenium guys, they have created one HTML unit driver. So HTML is unit is different and HTML unit driver is different. So on top of HTML unit, they have created one HTML unit driver. And this is created by Selenium HU team, the official uh, dev team. And this is a separate project done by Selenium. And you can see that this is a Maven project. This is the official GitHub page. You go to their format XML file and internally they are actually using, you can check it HTML unit, right? And HTML unit is actually dependency. Also they have added over here. You can see this dependency got added here. So if you are using HTML unit driver for the headless mode, internally they are using HTML unit. So if you are using only HTML unit, in that case, you cannot use Selenium feature. So if you really want to use Selenium feature, your rest of the script will remain same, but still you want to execute your Selenium test cases in the headless mode, you can use HTML unit driver now. So let's do one thing. Let's quickly take an example of HTML unit and then we will see one example with HTML unit driver, right? Generally HTML unit is used by our different people, especially for the or headless testing or web scrapping such things you can easily do that you really want to fill the form without opening the browser clicking on some button interacting with the uh, uh, you know the page source or xml something like that you can easily do that so this is a sample script you can see that this is one test that they have written there is one important class web client class just to create the object of this class and with the help of this web client object you simple call this method get page method and pass the URL. So this URL will be launched in the headless mode. And then you can assert you can get the title, you can get the page source as XML, you can get the complete inner text of the of the page. And then you can assert with the help of any test ng or j unit, whatever you want to use that if you really want to submit the form, simple launch the application once again, get form by name, get input by ID, get input by name, lot of methods are available. You can easily do that. Just like we have a by.id, by.name in Selenium. And then you can type means send keys, just like type and then click means dot click means click on a specific element. So let's take this example and let's see how exactly it is working. So I'm just directly copying this entire code. And this is the Maven project that I have already created under this Maven project under this format XML file, this HTML unit driver I have already added. So if you add HTML unit driver, you will be getting Selenium dependencies as well as you will be getting HTML dependency also HTML unit dependency also, right? So let's see, I have added HTML unit driver directly over here, which is coming from Selenium. I'll be getting both the features here. And then I'll do one thing. I paste this particular uh, code and uh, at the rate test, you can use either J unit or test changes. Let's see, I'm adding uh, J unit here. And this web client is actually coming from HTML. So just import that. Okay. And assert we are using from J unit. So simple use it from J unit. See, it's not compulsory to use J unit. You can use uh, uh, a test ng also. And I'll do one thing. If I launch this application, what will happen? It will 
and uh, uh, launch this particular URL, but you cannot see that. You cannot visualize it because this is GUI-less. You cannot see the browser is happening or first of all, there is no browser. It's totally uh, headless mode. And then I'm checking some text over here and then I'm checking that, okay, yeah, complete page source I'm uh, capturing in the form of XML and I'm checking that it contains something like this or not. Let's see, I'll just want to do one thing. I want to print system dot or print talent page as XML. I want to print it on the console. Okay. And then I want to print this page as a text also. This is called inner text, the complete inner text. You will be getting it. And inside this inner text, if you really want to check some contains or string that also you can check it and whatever the see get title text, just like we have driver dot get title, we have page dot title text. You can use it. Let's say I'm using trim here. Any space is there. You just uh, validate that, remove the spaces and then validate with this. Okay. I'll do one thing. Let me print the title also. So whatever the title that you are getting it, let me just print it on the console system dot out print talent page dot get title text method. You have to use it. Okay. So let's do one thing. Let me just comment it out. These number of lines first print the title and validate it. So run as J unit and uh, we will open the console here. You can see it's the title of the page is coming. Same thing. If you really want to change the URL, you can use it. For example, let's say I'm using google.com and then whatever the title that I want to validate, I can simply say, okay, fine, validate with Google. So this is your expected title and this is your actual title that you are capturing it. And then you run it again. So let's see it's picking the Google or not. Okay. So yeah, it's running and so you can see that, okay, yeah, Google is coming. So there is no browser and still application a script is absolutely working fine. Same thing. Let's see now, let me just uh, remove this assertion. I don't want to assert such things. I simple print. Let's see, uh, <coughs> system dot out print talent. Give me the page as XML. So let's run it and let's see. And it's slightly fast also because there is no browser and you can see the complete inner uh, page source is coming actually along with the script and JavaScript and everything along with the HTML uh, DOM structure. Everything is coming over here in the form of XML see this right and in this particular XML, if you really want to validate something you can validate that with the help of contains or whatever you want to use that you can use it easily fine and then this is the page as text page as text is something very interesting let me just show you let me just comment it out otherwise it will print a huge string on the console page as text although its method is deprecated we have to find out which method we can uh, uh, use it okay with the replacement of this so let's run it again and let's see so whatever the inner text that you are looking for inner text means the page text without any page source. So see, awesome. See on google.com. These are the uh, Google offered in these languages search. I'm feeling lucky and everything. Whatever the text is available on google.com, you can check it. And then if you really want to validate, you can validate with your assertions as well. So you see, I'm not using any web driver driver equal to a new Chrome driver and all such things, right? Okay. Now I'll do one thing. I'm going to write another test over here with Selenium. So let's create one more test here. And this time I'm going to create, let's see public void. I'll write Google test here once again, but this time I'm going to use a uh, Selenium web driver, right? So Selenium web driver dependency that we have already added and see certain examples they have given here. So just go to this project. What they say that HTML unit driver is the class, which is actually implementing web driver interface. And uh, you just need to just like we do it web driver driver equal to new Chrome driver, same top casting, you have to do it over here as well. If you want no JavaScript support, you just need to uh, simple pass and a specific browser in the headless mode, you want to write it simple, write browser version dot Firefox. It means Firefox will be launched in the headless mode. Then JavaScript you want to enable, then you have to pass it through over here. No JavaScript support means if you don't pass anything means JavaScript support will not be there. And then any specific browser version, you can pass it like that. So let's see, I'll just pick this guy and uh, okay. Web driver driver equal to new HTML unit driver and web driver. We have to import from Selenium, right? And then this HTML unit driver also we have to import from Selenium. So HTML unit driver is the class created by Selenium team, which is the uh, separate driver created by Selenium HQ team, right guys? So that's why it's coming because of HTML unit driver. 
So HTML unit is different and HTML unit driver is different. Remember that thing. This is the code that we have written. It's coming from because of HTML unit. Okay. Now I'll do one thing and uh, let me write a driver here and then the rest of the script will remain same. So let's do one thing driver dot get I launch one URL and then I just want to print system dot or print driver dot get title. Fine. Let's see. This is what I want to do that and I want to run it in the headless mode. So let's run this test and let's see it is working or not. So here in this case, awesome. See, it's showing you Google and then getting a title. So like this, now the rest of the script will remain same. So you can use all your driver, web driver feature, title, window handling, actions classes, select classes, everything you can do it, but the script will happen. The execution will happen in the headless mode, right? Now, if you really want a specific browser that also you can use it. So you just need to pass in the constructor of the HTML driver browser version dot Firefox. So let's talk about, let's see browser version and you simple come here browser version dot see multiple options are available chrome edge firefox so let's see i'll be using firefox here and then you run it again it means the headless mode is happening with firefox this is such a nice thing that they have developed and then you can see it's very fast and google is coming on the console let's take some more example system dot auto print talent what i want driver dot uh, let's see get current url that i want to pick it and then I want to write that. Okay, fine. Driver dot find element by dot name and the name. I know that. Okay. On Google search bar. And then I want to pass send keys. I simple write. Let's see Naveen automation labs. And then after that driver dot find element by dot. Let me do one thing. Let me open google.com and uh, then we will inspect that. So inspect. See, first of all, I want to enter something here where name equal to Q. And then after that, I want to click on Google search. So when you do a Google search, this is again input where I can use this name equal to BTNK. Okay. So I can write by dot name and this one and then dot click. Fine. After that, again, I want to print the title and the URL once again. So these two lines again, I'm just going to paste here. Now let's see in the headless mode, it is actually searching for Naveen automation labs, clicking on the button and then after that getting the title or current URL or not. Awesome. See Naveen automation labs, Google search. And after that, you can see that, uh, after entering Naveen automation labs, Google search, this is a title. And then the new page URL is this awesome, right? The moment you write here, labs, you can see the title is this, and this is the current URL. You are getting it. It means this is absolutely working fine here. So it's very, very fast and you can write your entire script with HTML unit driver as well. You can change any browser. If you really have a requirement at okay, you know, on Firefox, on Google Chrome, on edge, you can use that. Let me check what are the different supports are available. So I think they have supported with the, uh, Chrome edge and Firefox and internet explorer. Opera and Safari is not there. Okay. So you can explore it and start using it. So don't be confused between HTML unit and HTML unit driver. They are totally different. A quick recap, HTML unit is a separate project, right? It's nothing related to Selenium right now. In this case, it's a separate development is happening and uh, it can now this is being used by HTML in the form of HTML unit driver by Selenium HQ team and they have already added uh, inside their format XML file, they have already added this HTML unit 2.51.0. It's the latest version. And then they have created this HTML unit driver. Okay. So you can use it with Selenium integration also easily with that. Right guys. So that's all for this particular video. I hope it's clear. Please experiment that in the headless mode. A lot of people, they are using it. Thank you so much guys. If you have any query, feel free to write in the comment section. Let me know if you have any issues. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.